what I want to do is just talk generally about how um, I've been looking at uh, mobility management. My work today is, uh, is at Harvard where I run programs for mayors and chiefs of staff and chief data officers for the largest uh, U.S. cities. So I, I think about this in terms of what does the work of the mayor look like and, and I put that into a, a framework, the concepts that uh, there may be the building blocks as we move forward to a new mobility system seem to me to be the four that are up there on the on the slide right now. We move from a mode centric to a user centric and demand driven system. We move from one that's uh, kind of based on compliance, the regu a regulatory approach based on con compliance and caps to ones that look at uh, data driven by protocols. We look at a new role for government, uh, one that's oriented about making the market work. Uh, uh, broadly for residents, and then lastly, kind of uh, what's the new governance structure? This is obvious, is why you, many of you are in your day-to-day -day work, but it's only recently been obvious, right, that uh, transportation is supposed to be oriented around the customer and not over the, around the mode. And so now we're moving into a system that says, how do we integrate all this information? How do we do it in terms of providing, uh, producing mobility? What would that look like? What is government's role as it moves from kind of the political economy to the market economy? If we design a system around the user, that's broadly different than, de than designing a system around the user of a bus or the user of a taxi or the user of a TNC or the user of a bike, right? We're thinking about a system designed around the user a kind of omni-channel experience of the user. And if we could come up with that orientation, it would dramatically change things. And we look at a market that tries to regulate through data, not caps on, on the supply side, uh, that looks at how to establish a, a data sharing or single tr truth platform, uh, looks at the government's role as access and equity, and finally, uh, kind of how do we allocate costs and how do we how do we code the curb, if you will. This is uh, your mission uh, here at uh, Volpe and DOT generally which is, uh, you know, uh, what does transportation look like? What's mobility look like? Traditionally, we've thought about the curb um, as a liability that needs to be maintained by a city. But today, the curb is valuable in many places in a city, right? So how do we think about the curb? As we think about managing mobility, we need to also inherently think about managing the curb. Not managing parking, but managing the curb. And that will require, and LA is, uh, is the most advanced, uh, at least in thinking about this, which is code the curb, figure out where, where everything is located, and then figure out how we can use dynamic pricing as it relates to the use of the curb. And that would be whether an AV drops off at the curb, it would be whether the cities begin to pass ordinances that require TNCs to drop off in certain places, it, it, would, it would allow cities then to price where the scooters are dropped, and it would allow cities to use dynamic pricing to do that. What is government's role? Because, you know, over the last 25 years, uh, government's role has often been providing uh, transportation like uh, uh, bus transit uh, or regulating transportation like, um, like in cabs. But, but inherently in this new um, mobility management system where a government's core responsibility is going to be equity, right? How to make sure that the community is served broadly and fairly and openly. As we think about access and equity, right, we think about how are we going to get folks who, who are underemployed to jobs in a more efficient manner. They're going to need a platform that serves as a way to assemble information among multiple providers so that there's real-time information about what's, what's available. The city's new role, in addition to equity, will be how do they create these platforms that have uh, APIs that allow people to uh, connect. Now, um, that, that keeps moving us into the direction of kind of the role of government, and the role of government is the government is the, is the aggregator of data that can be used for pricing and, and decisions on the part of consumers.